how are you all doing? My name is Shaz and I love colorful makeup. Today we're going to do another to buy or not to buy video. In these videos I talk about makeup that has been recently announced or sneak peeked or released and I tell you if I'm interested in any of them. You also should write to me in the comments below if you're interested in any of them. Also, in this video, we're going to make this eye look with this palette, Don't Be Jelly from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is a beautiful palette that we released recently. I actually talked about the release in my last week's video. I'm so excited to have it in my hands. Bought it with my own money. Yeah, if all of that sounds good to you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's go into the video. I am back. We're going to do another to buy or not to buy. We're going to be using Don't Be Jelly Palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the second time I'm using Unearthly Cosmetics. First time was with their um, mystery box for Halloween. I bought the mystery box and I was pretty impressed with the Halloween mystery box. I found everything very well made. They looked pretty high quality you know a lot of times with indie brands you don't necessarily expect the packaging to be super high quality but friends the mystery box was pretty nice the packaging of everything lip lipsticks and the eyeshadow palettes and everything was so nice and then this one so 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 nice so this came inside this box when i got it i thought this was the eyeshadow palette and then i opened it and inside it looks actually very similar to the packaging of the mystery box and inside of this was this box this container inside of which was the palette and it was just like okay i mean this package by itself looks super super luxe so and the eyeshadow palette i mean it had one of these things but in it like you know a lot of times I've mentioned when I reviewed some of the other palettes that are from indie brands that haven't been around for too long, you know, the print of the outer packaging a lot of times, you know, you might see things shattered or it might seep into the pan or something like that. But this one looks super high end. I don't know if you can see the logo, the new Unearthly Cosmetics logo is embossed on each pan and then the colors of these pans friends they look so 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 nice i am particularly impressed with this one this is one of those things luminescence this color looks like a multi-dimensional like true true multichrome i kind of want to use that one another true multichrome is this one i feel like that just looks pink from one angle i don't know teal from another angle yeah i I can't wait. I can't wait, so let's get started. And as always, we're going to be looking at the latest palettes. Now, friends, I'm doing this on a Thursday because I'm going to be out of town this weekend. I'm flying to New York tomorrow, so I'm not going to be available. And I wanted to make sure that we do this because I know a lot of you are waiting for this. And I didn't want to let you down, so let's get started. First of all, we don't have candle, but I have some tea here that is gonna keep me through this video. This video is probably not gonna to be too long because I did a very long one last time and this one is gonna probably be a little shorter because not that many things have released since then. But beauties, a few things that released since last time. One of them was this one. And I have to say that I purchased this one, yes. Adept Cosmetics. Interestingly, Adept had an early release for some people. I don't know if everybody who has done an adept purchase in the past has gotten this email or not, but I got an email a few days ago saying you, you have 24 hours if you want to pre-purchase this palette, and I did, because I knew I'm going to buy it. And you know, they had something similar to that with the, what was the name of that palette? Inspired palette. They, I think by mistake, released it early, and I didn't buy it during that early release. And then afterwards, when I purchased it, I was like, girl, you should bought it during the early release why did you wait so this time I was like you know it's $140 but I'm gonna buy it anyway so I might as well just do it and while I'm talking let me put my painterly on so I went ahead and purchased it 
and beauties i also purchased this one now this one was harder because this is just an eight pan palette and i was like 94 dollars is that really worth it and beauties remember you can use someone's code with all of these things so don't forget to do that you know sometimes the percentage off might not be that much but hey anything is better than nothing right so just remember to do that and that's what i did i got some money off but still they are expensive palettes so a couple of other things i wanted to mention also is that ninhydrin from adept i believe is restocking on the 22nd again don't forget to use someone's code beauties i have the ninhydrin palette it's a beautiful palette friends i bought the original version this is the repackaged one i even at some point videoed a couple of eye looks with ninhydrin and then i thought it's an older palette so nobody would want to watch the video but you know what i might just pull it put it up anyway because it, this is a beautiful palette truly beautiful palette and it's a you know it doesn't look look it in one look because it looks a little grungy with the darker packaging but it's actually a pretty springy palette because the colors are pretty vibrant they don't look it when you just look at it um inside the packaging you know the packaging is kind of dark the winnie the pooh collection is restocking or has restocked maybe by the time you guys watch this video it has already restocked and you all remember the lip stuff from winnie the pooh collection i feel like I, I might pick it up this time i'm traveling but you know i might i might just go online and pick it up celestial garden from bella Butte bar this was in collaboration with m jones 5018 this is also restocking i believe in four days well four days from the day i'm filming so check their website whenever you're watching this to see if it's available yeah so celestial garden is restocking on may 23rd at 11 a.m cst what else what else oh man eater palette is going to be in stock again from artitude cosmetics beauties this one this was a good one that i i might pick this one up okay beauties that's as far as the restocks go don't forget to use someone's code if you're shopping for anything i might buy artitude cosmetics the palette looks beautiful but i have all those colors i don't know i don't know you know i'm not promising anything moving on let's talk about this one beauties this is from kimchi chic and this looks kind of different from anything we've seen from kimchi chic the only questionable thing about this palette is that it looks like it has five red colors that kind of look the same to me i'm not sure if those red you know reddish pinkish colors are that different so it kind of looks like this palette is not does not have as many colors as you might think it has otherwise i like the color story i feel like if this palette was a nine pan i would be very very interested and i don't own anything from kimchi chic and hey i would be interested to try it at some point palettes $30 which is actually honestly not a bad price at all and it's already available if you are interested it's available I have done a lot of shopping beauties so I don't know let me jump right in with a fluffy brush I am going to what color am I I'm going to use this beautiful sea star beautiful beautiful oh, purple color and beauties the reason I'm using oh my goodness look at that I love purples if you all have never watched a video here i love purples i usually use palettes from brands to do eye looks with that are coming out with something new or featuring new palettes and you know in this case i'm doing both so i'm featuring this new palette that launched a couple of weeks ago from unearthly cosmetics and also talking about their new release so Unearthly Cosmetics is releasing something new. Let me give you more information about this. This is in collaboration with Heather Austin, who is an influencer. She's She has a YouTube channel and we have seen her in the past. I have her collaboration with Adept that she did last year. Amazing palette friends and she's very talented great youtuber definitely have watched a lot of her videos Obviously, I would love to support her as I mentioned. I have one of her collaboration palettes. It's releasing on the 25th 
palette's gonna have 12 shades it's gonna be 45 dollars and it is releasing at 12 p.m est 11 a.m cst and 9 a.m pst it's also releasing with a lip gloss and a face duo in this picture the palette doesn't look so nice but if you see it from close up because i've seen some other influencers who have received the palette in pr post photos and the palette looks much nicer than what you see in this picture now that might be a feedback for unearthly cosmetics truly unearthly cosmetics you need to improve your photos even this palette this palette looks beautiful from close up like these shimmer colors beauties they look amazing the photos on the website does not do this palette justice i just have to say that so i think the palette's gonna look much nicer than what it looks like in this picture the palette is going to have vibrant neon mattes to duo toned neutral shimmers i don't have a price i don't know should i pick this up <laughs> you'll tell me i've picked up a lot of things recently so i don't know Let's talk about this one, beauties. Beauty Creations Cosmetics is coming out with all of this. The palette's beautiful, it's just not for me. It's very neutral, right? And then I also, I'm not sure how much I'm into the palettes that have face stuff in them. And then you have all that lip stuff. Is this in collaboration with somebody? Oh, it is. It's in collaboration with Yeri MUA. I don't know who that is, but congratulations. Yeah, I, I don't really think this is for me. I think this is probably for the followers of Yeri MUA. If you're a follower, maybe you can educate me. I like the packaging though. Colorful and beautiful. Let me talk about this one, beauties. Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with eyeshadow brushes. Interesting. It's coming soon. I don't have prices or anything, but I can't wait to see what they have in stock. I also mentioned this in a past video that they are evidently are bringing back the Pipone palette. I thought at some point that that's a new palette, but it seems like it's a palette they had launched before and they were just bringing it, bringing it back. And I keep seeing little itsy bitsy stuff, like reels and such about it on Instagram, so I'm kind of curious. This palette is from Elijah Storm Cosmetics. It reminds me so much of this one. So much of this one. This one might be missing the deep reds, but you know, for the most part, I don't think I need a bigger palette that kind of covers the same colors. This is it's Spell Cosmetics' this Cool Summer Palette. I have a video with it if you're interested. I can tag it in the description box below, but I don't think I need anything bigger than that. Beautiful palette though, I just don't need it. What do I, what do we know about this palette? This is going to start shipping on May shipping. So maybe you can already order it. Yes, it's already available. It's, uh, and it's going to start shipping on May 26th. So the pre-order is available. It's going to have three duochrome shades, six shimmers and six mattes. Okay, beauties. The next thing I want to talk about is from Shine by SD. It looks like they're bringing back their mattes and they have been reformulated. I've never used Shine by SD mattes, but hey, Shine by SD is a nice brand. I really like their shimmers, so I would be open to trying their mattes at some point. Let me know if you've tried their mattes, what your thoughts are in the comments below. Should I pick up mattes? I feel like I have so many mattes, so I don't know if I will pick anything up yet, but hey, I would be open to picking something up. Should I talk about this one? Melt is coming out with this palette. What's the name? Dark Matter Palette. It's a 12 shade, one match row, one shimmer row. I feel like the concept's been done before. It is yet another neutral palette. Did Laura Lee do a palette like this? Somebody did a palette that looked very much like this. Or maybe it was Jacqueline. Anyway, not a new concept. I also don't own anything by Melt and I'm not into this kind of color story and it's $58 and it's already available here's let's talk about this one Motz, I'm gonna butcher the name motetsdam.co is releasing goth's fair goth ferity palette and 
pre-orders are open for this. Maybe the pal is also not new. I don't know because it says pre-orders pre are open again. And the reason I even wanted to talk about this palette is because this palette, the way it looks like, reminds me very much of the Chucky palette. And beauties, I really like the Chucky palette. The only thing missing from the Chucky palette, beauties, I think, is a blood red. Yeah, if this palette had a blood red, it would be ideal. Yeah, maybe we didn't need both of these. This I still can't decide if this has a dab of red in it, in which case, if it does have a dab of red, then the color is staying but if it is just a black then you know how i feel about matte blacks so this could go and re be replaced with a blood red like a red 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 like like a red color like these kinds of red yeah i feel like that kind of a color is missing because that kind of a color is totally chucky you know so i feel like the color is kind of missing from the palette also it would be the same color as this heart let's continue i keep getting this one on Instagram, it seems like Pat McGrath is coming out with something. They haven't revealed it yet, but I kept getting this. So if you're a Pat McGrath type of a person, keep your eyes open. I'm really not. I find Pat McGrath kind of pricey. And the color stories, honestly, are not me either. They're too neutral for me. I'm sure looking at my eyes right now, you can understand why I say that. But I know it's a pretty popular brand, so I wanted to talk about it. The next thing I wanted to talk about is from Notoriously Morbid, Madame Violet palette. Beautiful palette. You know, this reminds me of a little bit, a little bit of First Color Pops purple palette. What was the name? I have it. I just don't remember the name. I, I find the photo and I put it up. This reminds me of that. This is more like a 2022 version of that or 2023 version of that, but this is beautiful. And it's purple, but a little bit bland. It's releasing tomorrow, May 19th at 12 p.m. CST. And with Notoriously Morbid, you all know you can use someone's code. Let's continue, let's continue, and let's talk about this one. Odin's Eye is releasing two palettes. These are going to be 15 pound palettes. They're going to be $35.90 each, which honestly is not a bad price, although Odin's Eye is a Swedish brand, so these might be coming from Sweden, and you might have to pay for shipping. The palettes are inspired by Earth Goddess Jord, or Jord maybe. The collection is going to include 15 shade eyeshadow palettes, jewels and gem, and stone and rock, and they're supposed to empower your beauty. They are releasing on the 20th at 5 p.m. Central European time, which is 11 a.m. EST. You can buy the whole bundle, which is originally priced at $325 for $276. I, I think there's going to be some jewelry involved in the full collection and you can see the jewelry in the photo. I'm not a fake jewelry person. I like real jewelry, semi-precious stones at least. I saw a couple of eye looks done with these online today, this morning. They are beautiful. I'm just not excited enough about these two palettes to want to buy one of them. You know, the color stories are not that exciting for me neither of the color stories is and i also don't know if i was super impressed with odin's eyes perfect world collection i like the sea talk and the animals palette but the flora story palette was a little difficult to work with it just didn't work on me it kind of oxidized on my eyes and it was a little too powdery I have a video with it on my channel. I, I think it even got patchy on my eyes. Yeah, I wasn't so impressed with that one, but the other two were good. You know, I kind of at this point want to try a few other brands. I don't want to go back to Odin's Eye. I do have a video where I talk about the different brands I would like to try in 2023. We're almost hitting the middle of the year and I haven't even tried half of those brands that I mentioned. I'm going to put the video somewhere on the screen or down in the description box if you're curious okay beauties i'm gonna now go into 
sea urchin which is this beautiful beautiful color it's sort of a very dark burgundy and i'm going to deepen out this outer v area okay beauties we're gonna have these releases from viseart or Visart. they're gonna do a quad plus two blushes bronzers type of a thing Viseart is a brand i would be interested in purchasing from Except for the fact that most of what I've seen from Viseart is too neutral for me. They've had a few colorful palettes that from time to time I've thought about picking up. I think if they release something colorful that is decently priced, I will pick it up. But unfortunately, none of these looks colorful. They're each $40. And do I have a release date? I don't have a release date. They might already be available. Yes, they are. Quickly talking about this one hourglasses face palette the whole ambient lighting edition sculpt palette these six pan palettes beauties used to release once a year around christmas time they're 80 dollars at some point is it still 80 dollars do i have a price i don't have a price for these but it used to be 80 dollars maybe now there there might be more at some point i bought one they are available so you can go on hourglass cosmetics's website and see how expensive they are they might be more expensive at some point i picked one up and then i felt so guilty for spending 80 dollars on a face palette because i rarely put anything on my face i was like i'm probably gonna spend a century going through this so i without even ever opening it i just returned it like two days later i was like i'm not gonna use this somebody else is gonna use this and love it and you know these are these usually particularly when they come around christmas they sell out really fast so like I had picked it up early and I'm sure somebody else as soon as I returned it picked it up and enjoyed it and I'm so happy to think that okay I do have a little bit of like lines here and part of that is because I'm not 20 anymore so there are some grooves and crevices on my eyelids and I also have hooded eyes so let's try blending a little more I'm gonna look down and try to just blend these more beauties i saw this one from pro glitz and you all remember i talked about the release this kind of thing releasing from sugar drizzle and i was like huh interesting it seems like more than one brand is thinking about these if you missed that video this was what i talked about in my last video sugar drizzle is kind of coming up with the same exact concept which is a dual-sided multichrome stick one side is going to be dark based multichrome the other side is going to be a an iridescent multichrome i don't have a price or a release date for this but i'm sure it's going to be available at some point on their site so you can check it out if it wasn't already obvious from me saying that i've picked up cleona's palette it's available i picked it up yesterday and it was still available so if you're interested i also beauties i could not control myself and i picked two of their multichrome lacquer bundles yes nail lacquers not the one that was associated with the the release because that one doesn't look very multichrome and it's also not that exciting for me but two other ones and you know what i want to test them in this channel let me know if you're interested in me like doing nail colors and so on and like showing you what colors they will look like Beauties, Shine by Estee has a few new things. I already talked about the mattes. They are also going to release a Hidden Gems collection. I feel like they had a Hidden Gems collection. Or maybe I'm thinking about another collection that had a name that sounded very similar. Beauties, I'm going to look up and use the same dark color to just do my lower lash line. I have a video on my channel swatching all of my singles from shine by sd which is frankly actually not just all my singles i also swatched a duality one collection but those are everything i have from shine by sd it's an amazing brand i really like their shimmers highly highly recommend i could totally see myself buy something from them if they release something that is exciting I am already excited uh, for the Duality 2 collection that released last month. I have been mentioning this in a few videos. It's a little pricey, 
So I don't know if it comes back, I could pick it up or if they release something else exciting, I could also see myself picking up something else. Now I'm going to use the first brush with a little bit of the first purple color and I'm just blending the lower lash line out just to remove any harshness that's there. Now I'm using a little bit of NYX's glitter primer on my finger and I'm just doing it all the way from two thirds on my eye into the inner corner. Beauties, while this is getting a little tacky, I wanted to talk about the next release, which is from Nomad Cosmetics. <laughs> yes, beauties, they just released, what was that, Royal Europe palette like six weeks ago, and now they're coming out with something new that they have sneak peeked kind of. They also kind of released a photo of a lion, so I might, I'm wondering if some, something is gonna have to do with a safari maybe? They always do a game online where they give you clues and they're gonna start it on Monday the 22nd. And then they give the final clue on Thursday the 25th. And they're gonna launch on Tuesday, May 29th. That is a fast launch. I mean, I bought the Royal Europe palette and I've been trying it out. It's a great palette, friends. I have, I'm videoing with it, three eye looks. I haven't had a chance to put that video up. Depending on what they release, I could see myself picking something up. I could totally see myself, particularly that the Royal Europe palette had multichromes that were very nicely priced and they were pretty nice. Also, their mattes the, in the Royal Europe palette were pretty nice mattes. Okay, beauties, let's go back into this. And I think you all already know that I'm very interested in trying luminescence. So I'm going to do that this beauty is so beautiful look at that color it's interesting because when i look at it you all see sort of a pink to gold and when i look at it i see purple to green <laughs> true multichrome and i'm going to put it as close to my inner corner as i can but not exactly on the inner corner i'm just bringing it out Beauties, let's talk about this one. It seems like Black Moxie Cosmetics is releasing on Friday, May 26th at 4 p.m. CST. Four new single shades, two duochromes, two metallics. And that pink to gold is beautiful. You all know I love pink to gold. I love that color. These are all priced at $9.50 to $10.50. And the collection is called Dark Matter. I've never tried Black Moxie. If you have, write to me what your thoughts are on this brand. Let's go to the next one, beauties. I talked about this one last time. I could not find anything about it. I was like, somebody somewhere posted something about this. But this is a sneak peek of Tara Moons's summer collection that's going to be launching on the 26th at 6 p.m. CST. I am excited. I realize that I haven't shopped from pheromones and I think about a year so I'm very excited to pick something up. Beauties one of you wrote to me on one of my comparison videos where I swash compared a few of my multichromes. Is that kind of a video interesting to you? Those videos take a lot of time to video but if that's kind of an interesting video for you all I'm all game for with making more of that kind of video because I have a lot of singles from all of these brands and i would be more than happy to just swatch compare them i just don't want to spend you know four hours videoing something and then many many hours editing it if nobody's gonna watch it but otherwise i would definitely make that kind of a video yeah so definitely let me know i'm now going to pick up the brush that had the darkest color and with whatever is left on the brush i'm just mixing the edge of these two colors this is so 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 beautiful oh this Moulter Crown friends, it's so beautiful. Beauties, before I go into the next color, I wanna do a few swatches just to see. Let's do this color. I don't know what you can see. Oh, okay, you all see pink to gold because in the pan from the angle I'm looking at, I see blue. And then let's also do this one. This one has a blue hue, yep. There's nothing on this finger, it's just stained. Yeah, so this one has a blue hue, this one has a pink hue. Let's do the pink one. I am going to go into this color, Hydro Space. 
And I'm putting this beautiful multichrome in my inner corner. Beautiful, beautiful. So nice. Okay, friends, I also want to talk about this one. V Cosmetics has released this limited edition air palette that has four shifty, shimmery, beautiful multichrome colors. They are so beautiful. And the palette is $27. I think I saw Nikki Raven talk about V Cosmetics at some point, and that was the first time I heard about V Cosmetics. And I think she had great things to say about V Cosmetics, so I would be curious to try the brand. Let me know down below if you have tried this brand, if you have what your thoughts are. Should I test this out? This inner corner highlight is so ready, pinky, beautiful. I'm just loving it. Beauties, another one is that Bella Beauté Bar is releasing nine new hand-pressed multi-chrome shades. These are single eyeshadows, and there is going to be two holochromes. I only see nine pan in the photos, so maybe the two holochromes is part of the nine pan. But this is beautiful. I And you all know I really want to purchase from Bella Beauté Bar. It really depends on what the, what the price is, because I'm not going to, you know... I don't want to break the bank. I just did a lot of purchases. Beauties, let me quickly talk about this one. This is a release from Dose of Color. This is their 10-year birthday collection, and it's launching on the 19th, which is tomorrow. The palette is $52. Matte liquid lipsticks are $20. Lip liners are $18. And Sponge Duo is $19, and it's going to be available tomorrow. I have heard amazing things about Dose of Color. I have never tried anything from them because most of their stuff is pretty neutral. I could totally see myself pick up the lip stuff. But you all know I'm on a no-buy for lip. Although I'm on a no-buy for lip, I have bought some lip stuff. And also, before I continue, I did put some of this what is the name of these? This is some like lippy, chubby, chubby stick, whatever they're called from ColourPop. This, I believe, is from their um, Millennium collection. What was that? Y2K collection. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, let me also quickly talk about this one because I talked about Cleona. I just did not mention this one. And I also talked about buying nail lacquers from them. Now, I did not pick this specific release up i picked another one from before but they have done a new stained glass collection lacquer bundle this is the fourth bundle i believe i picked the first and the second one this lacquer bundle released with their deep sea treasure collection this wasn't part of that collection the collection had three other um, lacquers that were part of that collection but this released at the same time and it was well it is $41.55. That's generally the price of the four lacquer bundles that they have. As I mentioned, if you're curious for me to test on camera the two lacquer bundles that I'm going to receive, so there's going to be eight colors, but it's like multichrome bundles, right? If you want me to test those on camera, just let me know. I will be more than happy to do that for you. And that brings me to the end of this week's To Buy or Not To Buy video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Also, write to me in the comments box below what palettes you have picked up from everything I mentioned. Maybe there are things that released that I did not mention or forgot to mention or I'm not interested in. Thank you, beauties. I love you all. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye!